matter, but y you know what I mean. Doesn't affect Grimmsnarl, Will-O-Wisp. Grimmsnarl, what? You double will o <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, I have to say, sorry guys, it's been a minute since I actually uploaded a video, a couple of days in fact, I think going on a week, and I, I have to admit, I've been on a bit of a, like a lull when it comes to making content. I just, it's hard to find the motivation, but like recently some people have reached out like, hey, when's the next video, and just knowing that people want to see the content helps me just feel motivated to actually make it in the first place, so... That, that helped me out quite a bit, and I'm excited to record this video. This is going to be a video where I use a team using a buzzwall on it, which was made by my buddy Alan Martinez, who is a live streamer on Twitch. His name is Mondo VGC. I'll link his stuff in the description down below. He's a great content creator. But I have my own buzzwall team that's in the works right now. Like, it's already been tested, and I know it works really well, but I haven't found time to make it in-game. I'm going to start making more teams in-game, and that'll actually motivate me to show them off to you guys. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in it. Subscribe to the channel on turn notifications because I make daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Let's hope that remains true. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't used this team at all, but I know Alan got a lot out of it. So I feel pretty confident that if Alan's working really well with this team, then I'll be able to use it to a uh, pretty high level as well. That or I'll just lose every match. You know, it's 50-50. It's 50-50 it's what's going to happen. As you can see here, we are ranked 9,387. And that's because... I haven't played in a long time, and I updated it last night and lost a couple of times because I'm out of practice. But um, let's see what what happens when we include the decay, or not last night. It was it was like a week ago that I actually like went in game and did that. So let's let's see what the decay is now that it's been a couple more days. That's gonna be interesting. We are ten thousand. That is so bad. I think I peaked at like five hundred this season. I always say like, yeah, this season I'm gonna ladder up, and then I play like a total of thirty games. <laughs> I play like a total of 30 games. Some of those games that are like on my record are from when I was getting um, B-roll footage for my Urshifu video. So that, that's another thing that brought it down. I was just kind of like throwing Urshifu at the wall and trying to get some cool clicks, uh, clips of it. So yeah. Also, do me a favor. Answer the comment question of the day, guys. What's your favorite fighting type? We're using one of my favorite fighting types being Buzzwool. Um, and yeah, I just, I just really like this Pokemon. As I said, I have my own team for it coming down the pipe soon. But yeah, let me know what you think. What, what's your favorite fighting type? And Buzzwool will absolutely annihilate this team if I play it right. So, how do we avoid getting Nainate on by Hatterene? Hmm. It looks like Tyranitar is going to be a really, really nice asset this game. Um, but so is Porygon 2 to an extent. We do have Choice Specs, Tapu Fini as well. I think I should lead off Tapu Fini. And... We have Taunt on the Thunderous, right? We do not. Crap. <laughs> do we have Taunt anywhere? That'd be great if we had Taunt somewhere. It's Choice Band Tyranitar, so maybe I can just lead off that way. Because I'm pretty certain... Oh, we do have Taunt. It's on the Grim Snarl. I think what I should do... Is I can actually go Tyranitar Grim Snarl. Buzzball in the back is going to be great. Believe me, it's going to be great. And I think my last Pokemon is going to be Tapu Fini. So we do have a pretty big weakness to Fairy types on this team. In fact, we have no resistance to fairy types on this team now that I look at it. Uh, but I think we'll be fine here, as long as we can play around the Hatterene effectively, which they might not even bring. Actually, no, they're definitely going to bring it. They see my team. They know what my team looks like. All right. Dusclop Sableye. Likely going to catch a fake out or a burn here. Hmm. They could also be Lagging Tail Trick. They see my Choice Band. They see the Light Clay. Um, I should always bring in the Tapu Fini here to avoid getting a burn on anything. And they might go for the Fake Out on my Tyranitar. Or a Will-O-Wisp, either one. Taunt isn't all that common on Grimmsnarl, from what I remember from the last week. That's the thing. Like, I... I make content, right? But when I don't make content for a week, the meta entirely shifts. And I feel like an idiot when I come back and play. Alright, so this taunt should stop the Grim Snarl. Or not the Grim Snarl, the Dust Clops barring a fake out into my Grim Snarl. I get my taunt off. No trick room for you. And this choice specs is gonna hurt. Like I have a very powerful move at my disposal right here. I have a very powerful move at my disposal. 
I think what I'll do is I'll just double into the Sableye slot. It's not common for them to carry Protect. And I don't believe they have a Fairy Resist. No, they do. They have Stack Attack and, and that thing. Um, I still think the Fairy move is a good idea. Just Moonblast, and we can also go for a Spirit Break into the Sableye slot as well, just to see what we can catch. I don't think Stack Attack would comfortably come in here just because... I haven't revealed choice specs since I didn't lead off with this thing. Is they go into Glacier? And it looks like... Oh no, they're not going to enjoy this. They are not going to enjoy this. This is a choice specs Moonblast into a Spirit Break. Alright, that looks like Assault Vest, just judging by the damage. Alright. So... What did we learn? Um, definitely choice specs. Definitely choice specs. Or not choice specs, uh, assault vest. <laughs> Dude, even when I like take a break from making content, I like forget how to speak in a video. It's happened before. You guys can go back and watch videos where I like haven't made a video in a while. Um, let me go for the reflect here. If they ally switch again, I actually wouldn't be in a terrible position. The reflect is gonna help me out quite a bit. That's what I hate about ally switch, man. Like, you see it so much on the lower ladder that it's like, you can't help but associate lower ladder with ally switch, if that makes sense. Does anyone else understand that? Like, when I go on, on lower ladder, I'm like, oh yeah, ally switch is going to be everywhere. You see it on high ladder, too. It's like either really, really low ladder or very, very high ladder that you see it. It's never in between. <laughs> I mean, you see it in between, I guess, but like, you know what I mean. It's more common at the top and at the bottom. Go from a reflect here. That tells me no ally switch since that would have gone first. Moonblast would be doing a decent amount. Yeah, so they go for a Poltergeist. Interesting. That's actually not going to hurt too much because I'm Tapu Fini and that's a Sableye. Yeah. I mean, interesting play. You don't really see uh, Poltergeist Sableye, but I guess it makes sense. It's one of the better physical moves that it has access to. Um, and I want to make a read here. I want to say that they're likely going to go for another ally switch here. And they're not going to knock out Tapu Fini with anything. Just because the Reflect is up, they should be targeting Grimmsnarl. Hmm. I'll just Moonblast in the Glacier. I'm not going to call the Ally Switch because there's really no reason to. And I'll get in the Buzzwool. Because Buzzwool can eat any hit from Glacier. And I really want to Dynamax this guy. Steel Spike should be doing very, very little damage to him. Just because he has amazing defense. Oh, looks like we land a crit. No, we just get the high roll. Because it, it dropped a lot quicker than I expected it to. The question is, what move did they go for? Poltergeist again? Probably. Yeah, there's the Poltergeist. Going to be hit by my choice specs. Once again, not doing too much damage. Just because it's Sableye attacking, you know? Sableye should honestly just be running Foul Play, in my opinion. Fake Out, Will-O-Wisp, Foul Play, Taunt. I believe it gets taunt. I'm not certain. It makes me sad that Grim Snarl outclasses Sableye in a lot of departments. You know? It's just disappointing. Alright. So. Um, I would like to avoid getting burned here. I think I'm just going to Moonblast the Sableye, to be honest. Um, I'm not really fearing anything coming out from the Dusclops. we we'll get in Tyranitar here. Because I still have a turn. I still have a couple of turns of Misty Terrain, so I'm not too scared of getting burned. You know, like, I, I just have to be able to reset the terrain later on. They go for the ally switch, that's fine. I still have my, like, my whole team and a Dynamax to burn, so I don't think they can really win. Unless I absolutely choke this game. It does a decent amount, they should be trick rooming here. Standstorm subsides, which means I have one more turn of terrain. No, I don't. <laughs> I forgot. All right. So, I mean, the Will-O-Wisp play into Tyranitar makes the most sense. So what I can do here is actually just go into my Buzzwool here and sack the Grimmsnarl to 
likely some kind of double up into it. I don't know, probably not a double up. They're probably just going to go for either a Nightshade and a Will-O-Wisp into like, like a Will-O-Wisp into the Tyranitar and a Nightshade and Tapu Fini make the most sense. You know? I might have to Dynamax the Tyranitar. He just does the most damage to everything, especially with that Choice Band. Or I guess the Choice Band wouldn't matter, but y you know what I mean. Doesn't affect Grimmsnarl, Will-O-Wisp. Grimmsnarl, what? You double Will-O-Wisp? <laughs> <laughs> Double will -o -wisp. I mean, you can't fault them for trying, you know? You can't fault them for trying, but it's just funny that that's how it worked out. I was like, oh, they're gonna go for a will o wisp into my buzzbowl, but. <laughs> Double will o wisp. Yeah, there's Hatterene. I should be able to Dynamax my. <laughs> I should be able to Dynamax the um, Tyranitar and just win now. All right, there's the Misty Surge. Uh, probably a Will-O-Wisp into Tyranitar, which is now a Tapu Fini. And in comes Tyranitar. Or Grimmsnarl, I mean, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. It's been a while since I commentated. Y you guys are going to get used to it. And then I'll get used to it, and then we'll be fine. Anyways, the Will-O-Wisp isn't happening is the point of this turn. And I'm not weakness policy, which is a little bit unfortunate. The weakness policy would have been great here. I am choice banded. I am choice banderino. Uh, let me just go ahead and go for a... I suppose the... Um, which does the most? 110, 130. Max Rockfall does the most. And I'll actually get in the Grim Snarl here. Likely going to lose it to a Dazzling Gleam. But if I don't lose it then I should be able to go for a light screen and just secure the win. And here I am, using a late game Dynamax. You know the saying, he who Dynamaxes first loses, but that isn't always true in doubles. It's mostly true for singles, but in doubles it's like, whoever uses their Dynamax smartest wins, which should be how it is, <laughs> which is why I think Dynamax was always intended to be a doubles mechanic, not so much a singles mechanic. There's the pain split. Good play. You mean, uh, they're going to be getting a decent amount there, but I should be fine. Yeah, the sand is helping out quite a bit. And they're not going to appreciate this attack. That's going to be a KO after the sand. I was concerned. I was like, wait, how many, how many turns of sand do I have left? And I'm like, oh, I just reset it like a couple of turns ago. Alright, so in comes the Sableye. We can just max Rockfall that. I'm not really concerned about losing this match anymore. Um, actually, I can just go Buzzbowl. I'll just go Buzzbowl. Reason being is I can just double into the Sableye and win. I just don't want to lose my Tapu Fini on the off chance they, like... I, I don't know, I'm just concerned. I'm always, like, playing the endgame extremely safely, if you haven't noticed. Just because I know my potential to absolutely choke out a game. It's very common for me to just choke out a game, and they just forfeit. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So we managed to uh, win that one. Dang. Rank 10,000. I'm just ashamed of that. I mean, the ladder resets in a couple of days, and that's always fun. Let me look at this team. Were they Assault Vest? Yeah. Yeah. Black Sludge. It's an interesting item. You don't see it too often on them. Life Orb Hatterene. Makes sense. It was the... Yeah, weakness policy was on this. Lumberry Sableye is interesting. That's not really common. Lumberry. Quash. Alright, yeah, they were... I mean, I guess that makes sense running Poltergeist. Almost. Nah, you should definitely be running Foul Play. And yeah, no. Interesting team. Interesting team. I think it relied a little bit too heavily on the ally switch, but yeah. All right, we gained literally 2,000 points right there. That's hilarious. Let's get one more match. It's going to be a bit of a shorter video. I'll be going live tonight with a more Pico team, I believe. If I can finish the more Pico team in time. Interesting. So double haunts. Double haunts. Um, probably bulldoze on the ghost haunts. Just to activate the weakness policy on the 
Regirock, which also means no weakness policy on the Glacier, probably Life Orb at that point. Um, they definitely like screens as well. Huh. This team is very, very weak to Buzzwool if they don't go with Hatterene, so I think I feel pretty comfortable just leading off Buzzwool. Buzzwool, Tapu Fini. Or, I don't, I don't even need to lead off Tapu Fini, do I? I could go Buzzwool, Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Tapu Fini in the back. And I feel pretty good about Tyranitar. No Porygon to this this game. I think I've, I think I'm fine with this. Just because they're so physically offensive, if that makes sense. A lot of their team like leans on their physical offensive Pokemon. So being able to wall them out with a lot of my options is really nice. Regirock Spectre, awesome. So the reason I let off Buzzwall Tapu Fini is because this also makes it so they can't... Or Buzzwall Grimmsnarl. It means I can switch in Tapu Fini uh, and prevent them from being able to get off a burn. And also Buzzwall's kind of scary here. I think what I want to do is... Maybe I don't Dynamax just yet. Maybe I get in my Tapu Fini here. And actually go for a light screen. Just to make sure I don't immediately lose to Dynamax Spectrier, if that makes sense. Because they get Dynamax to Spectrier, recognizing that Buzzwall is weak to it. If they if they Bulldoze here and Dynamax the Regirock, I think I'm in a better position to win, though. I just don't see them going for that play, considering what's on the field. Alright, get the Surge off. That'll prevent any burns if they decide to do that. Let's see what they go for. Yep, Dynamax. I figured there'd be a Dynamax somewhere on this first turn. Both of their options are very good Dynamax Pokemon, but I'm expecting the Spectrier. Yep, there it is. So I'm glad I got this Light Screen off. Helps me out quite a bit. Especially with the Assault Vest on Buzzwool. Probably going to take a lot of damage in my Tapu Fini, though. I have to keep that in mind. Matter of fact, Tyranitar is looking pretty awesome. I might not even need, even need a Dynamax him, you know? They go for the Max Strike. Likely coming off of Hyper Beam or Round if it gets it. I don't know, but it's not doing too much damage. Get a Speed Drop. Um, they do not want to take a... Not a Dynamax, but a Choice Spec Scald. Regirock never wants to eat that hit, and I should definitely be able to eat a hit from this uh, from the Spectre pretty well. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll just go for the Scald. I'm not going to risk a miss, you know? And we'll go ahead and get off a... I could go for a Spirit Break on the Spectre. And just feel comfortable in the fact that I'm probably going to knock out the Regirock with the Scald. And Regirock has really bad Special Defense, especially when you don't Dynamax it. So we'll go for the Spirit Break on the Spectre. Just to decrease that damage output a bit more. Phantasm should not knock me out. And Regirock going for Curse there, lowering its speed, made it so the max strike doesn't help him out as much as it would have otherwise. Let's see how much this Skull does. I'm pretty certain Choice Specs will KO. Oh, almost. Does it get their weakness policy off? I'm probably in trouble, but I might not be. We'll see. Spirit Break. If they went for another Curse, I should be fine. They go for the Rock Slide. This is going to hurt. Yep, lost two Pokemon there. Lost two Pokemon, but... I mean... Their Dynamax is almost over. And Tyranitar is looking mighty fine here. I think Buzzwell might be a better Dynamax option, though. I don't know. I have to, I have to check. I have to <laughs> look at what they probably have in the back. With the light screen up, I definitely live pretty much every hit from the Spectre. So what I think I should do here... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do here is Dynamax Buzzwool and go for the Max Knuckle for plus two. And I should just be able to lock myself into Assurance here on the Spectre. I don't like locking into Assurance, but I want to make sure I actually get a KO. 
And since Spectre has really, really bad physical defense, this should be fine, I think. I don't know. I'm, it's it's a weak move, but it's coming off of Choice Band's Tyranitar. So it might be enough. I don't know. And since they're at minus one on their... Since they're at minus one speed on their um, Regirock, even if they go for a max strike into my Buzzwool or something, I should be fine. They go for the max Phantasm, trying to lower my defense. Buzzwool, yeah, you're going to eat that up. <laughs> You're gonna eat that up pretty well. Assurance does not quite knock it out, which is a bit disappointing, but plus two, I'm gonna get that from my Max Knuckle. And I still have a Dynamax, so I feel pretty good about the position I'm in. Especially with, uh, with the light screen up, I'm not in a bad spot, really. And this is why I think that Buzzwool is going to be really underrated, or just is really underrated right now, is because it's so able to snowball and wall so many threats within the format that it's, like, just good, you know? It's just good. Now, neither of my Pokemon are able to protect this turn, which is definitely an issue, but I don't actually need to target down that Spectre, since it should be going down anyways. And with light screen up in sand, there's no way they're going to knock me out with a um, with a mud shot. How many turns of sand are left? Four turns of sandstorm. Okay, I was I don't know why I was like uncertain if I was actually in a position to win there. Um, and we still have misty train up, I believe. Right. Yeah, so they can't burn me. I'll just go for the plus two max flutter by into the Hatterene, that should definitely KO. Uh, and I'll actually go for the Assurance into Hatterene as well, since Spectre is going to drop to Sand. Hyper Beam. Meow, does nothing. <laughs> Alright, Assurance. Wow, that does so much. And uh, plus two Max Flutter by will seal the deal here. Such a powerful Pokemon. Buzz will absolutely slept on, especially the Assault Vest variants. With such high HP... Buzzwell just makes up for its low special defense once you assault vest it, you know? Like, yeah, it's still gonna bit it, it's still gonna get like KO'd by special flying moves, but beyond that, it's really difficult to knock out. Alright. Look at his nose. Oh my god, I just realized that Buzzwell's nose just goes way out from his face. There's the Reggie Lecky. Um I've pretty much won. Assault Vest, Light Screen, Buzzwool, Existing. Um, and it's a Regilecki, so I'm just going to do the Here Comes a Giant Fist meme, since it doesn't matter. Dang, I'll go for the Fire Punch for the meme. Oh, wait, no, I'm Choice Banded. I'm going to knock it out with... <laughs> I'm going to knock it out, that's annoying. Volt Switch, pathetic, okay. Hopefully this doesn't knock it out. I want to say Here Comes a Giant Fist. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Focus Sash. So it was just pure offensive Regieleki. Interesting. And here comes a giant fist! <laughs> here comes the airplane. Just feeding you death. Awesome. So, uh, we managed to pick up two wins today, and granted, like, I am on lower ladder, but it's it's still, like, I'm out of practice. I need to practice some more, so tonight I'm going to be going live with a more Pico team, and I'll try to get that Buzzwool team in-game for you guys in a couple of days here. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and sticking by the channel, guys. I really appreciate everyone who stuck around during that lulling content. But uh, thank you so much. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more content, turn on notifications, and join the Discord. All of these things help me out. I'll be going live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time with the More Pico team. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.